So the title of our message for today is the gift of forgiveness. I know all of you guys, you know this topic, but I believe there are still some believers really need this message. And I believe all of us, it will remind us again the importance of forgiveness. And this is also my problem when I started a believer. Sometimes I cannot forgive someone who offended me, who hurts me. So I was so blessed that every time we experience this forgiveness, it reminds me how Jesus loved us, how Jesus forgave us from our sins, how Jesus died for us, and how our Father, God our Father, sent His Son for us to have an access by faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And by the Holy Spirit feeding us in every moment in our life, give us the hope. Give us the hope. Give us the love that we have to share to everyone. Amen. And that is the power of the Trinity. Now we are experiencing the Holy Spirit because He is the one guiding us. Guiding us whatever we need overcome the temptation, to overcome everything in this world, to be a righteous believer. And that is the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you blessed, guys, that we have the power of the Holy Spirit every moment? Do you believe in that, guy? Do you believe in that one? See, this is the good thing for every believer. Whenever we are walking in this world, we can touch every people around us by the Holy Spirit. And that is the truth. Amen. Sometimes we ignore Him, but still, He is punching our hearts. And I can feel that. Oh, you forgot this word. Oh, you forgot to do this. And that is the good thing. God never leaves us because of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What about that? All of us were committed sins, but the good thing, there is forgiveness of sins that we don't need to try to work too hard. We don't need to hurt ourselves our in order to receive forgiveness. And I experienced that in our country before back home. I'm so sorry to mention that, but I can see that they're trying so hard to pay, uh, to hurt themselves in order for them to receive the forgiveness. But in reality, the truth is in the Bible that if you believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord, you will forgive. And God will forgive your sins no more. Not anymore. Some people that they're thinking, God will keep my sins on in the book. But no, everything will be washed out. Everything, everything, whatever sins you committed before, it will be washed out. Especially if you believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm so blessed because that's the truth, right? That's the power of Trinity. If we don't have Jesus Christ in our life, if we did not, if we did not believe in Jesus Christ. Until now, we are suffering for these sins. We are suffering for the unforgiving spirit, right? And we, we will be still saying that we, will, we don't have any peace, we don't have any hope, we don't have any joy in ours because of the unforgiving spirit that Satan's attack us, that Satan's push it in our mind and hearts before. But now, as a believer, you believe in Jesus Christ and now you are confident, you are facing in front of God, Lord, I believe in you. I don't have any sins because of the love that you showed us for me and for everyone. Thank you, Father, for these wonderful, very powerful promises. Amen? And that's the power in the name of Jesus. Since we receive forgiveness as a gift from God through our faith in Christ Jesus, we can also share this gift to others, especially those people who offended us, especially those people who hurt us. So, Again, forgiveness is a gift from God. That's why when we know that we are already forgiven by God, we can also forgive others for whatever reason, for any reason. Because what is the reason? Because we are protecting ourselves in the presence of God. We have to forgive because we are always in the presence of God and the Holy Spirit 
always remind us, don't keep anything in your heart that will fill you unbroken. Amen? The spirit of unforgiving. And that's the truth with a believer. It's so nice to live in this world because we are always in the hands of God. Amen? The hands of God is always protecting us. The hands of God is always shielding us from our weaknesses. And that is the truth. Are you happy, guys, that we are touched by God? Are you, are you, are you blessed that we have this insight that's overflowing, the Holy Spirit? Are you happy about that? 